What is up YouTube? This is another video from your boy Godfrey and today we are playing Balloons Tower Defense as you can see. Uh, this is the fifth Balloons Tower Defense non-deluxe edition. I'm playing... I can't remember. I think I'm playing Monkey Lane just to do better in the weekly rewards. So right now as you can see I'm in the silver division and obviously these people are millions ahead of me. Um, so we're just going to load up Monkey Lane, and we're doing a couple of different things today, guys. I'm going to be showing you a money glitch, a tower stacking glitch, and... Hmm, yeah, that's about it. Um, okay, so tower stacking is by far one of the most difficult glitches, um, just because it's a timing issue. So you're going to need Chinook Winds helicopters, which are four zero, or sorry, zero four. um... Monkey pilots, I think that's what they're called. Heli pilots, okay. So, four, or zero four heli pilots, as you can see, zero upgrades, four upgrades. Um, and so that way you have the move tower ability. Um, so, as you can see over here, I'm not actually, I'm not really sure how well you can see it, but uh, my dartling gunners are stacked, my techno terrors are also stacked. Um, and yeah, obviously guys, you can't regularly place towers that close together. Uh, I placed all of these chippers before I actually knew about this, so... Um, yeah, so, um, if you guys are ever wondering what a good high round defense is, you don't need to stack your towers, but I would advise putting in a fourth sun god. <clears throat> and the rays of doom are totally optional. So, first things first, we'll do the tower stacking since it's the most difficult. So you select the helicopter, uh, don't use your uh, special ability tab here, don't use this. It's actually very difficult to jump back to your menu and then um, get another one of the tower. Uh, so about the tower stacking guys is it actually has to be two of the same tower, you can't put two different towers on top of each other. Uh, well actually I suppose you could, but it really wouldn't do you all that much good. So. Uh, yeah, here we go. Um, so obviously this is looking pretty hectic. There's beams spraying everywhere, but all we're gonna do is I'm gonna move this guy up to the top corner beside my other Techno Terrors. So you select the ability, it gives you all these targets, you pull on your Super Monkey, and you drag him up to where you want him, and then you quickly press on this- oh, I screwed up. That's what you don't want to do. If you put him in an area, um, where he can't be placed, the tower will actually refuse it, and then when you try and exit out of the menu, it'll place it wherever you clicked. So don't do that. Um, I don't need to sell them or anything, I just need to retry. So use my other Chinook wins. this is why I have two. Uh, do, 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 do. Drag him up here, click away, click away. Damn it, I'm going to screw up because of the timing. Yeah. So you have to be able to place the tower before the Chinook Winds actually grabs it and is starting to bring it over. So as you can probably see, I've been doing this from fairly far away from both my Chinook Winds and from where I'm placing it. So place it down. Uh, I don't think my other one's quite ready yet. Like I said, guys, this is the most difficult one just because it's timing oriented. The other glitch, the money glitch, is actually extremely easy. Um, you can use it however you'd like, I really don't care. So, do 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 do, and then just drag this to wherever you want him. I want him up there, and then we place him right there. Now that should be good. Alright, and as you can see, I now have two super monkeys stacked directly on top of each other, so we'll just upgrade. Whoops, that was actually not what I wanted, but that's okay. We'll just make it a sun techno. There, why not? So as you can now see, I have a Sun God Techno Terror stacked directly on top of each other, which is just absolutely awesome, guys. This is a wonderful space conservation method. Um, I'm not going to try and stack in this tiny little space here, just because it's really picky. So I am just going to fill that space with a regular Techno. And there you go. Um, monkey Villages can't be moved. Temples can no longer be moved. So those are two things that you're always going to have trouble with. Um... Which, as you can see, is why I've been using Techno Terrors instead of Sun Gods. And Rays of Doom are extremely effective for piercing power. Um, so honestly, my setup here should be good enough to get me up to probably around 160, 170, I would say. Even if I just left it as is, but I don't plan on leaving it as is. So same thing, just place the tower down anywhere you want them. 
Uh, don't do this in fast forward mode, guys. Otherwise, you are going to have no time at all. Um, so just pick a Chinook Winds, grab your tower, drag them up where you want them. I screwed up. Up there. Whoops, screwed up again. I think I got it that time. Mm -hmm. There you go. So, we upgrade to Technos, and then there is another Techno underneath. And there we go, double Technos right there, and then we're just going to do it again quickly, just so you guys can get a feel for this. The more you do it, the better your timing is going to get. I've been doing this a uh, fair bit now. My timing is definitely getting better. Ah, uh, damn. It is still tricky, though. Especially the higher the round, the more spraying that's going on here with all my technos. Um, and then as soon as we're done this round, guys, I will show you the money glitch. And it's very simple, very easy to do, but you have to be on mobile, and you have to have at least one tower that does not have all upgrades. At least I think. I've never tried this with a tower that has all of its upgrades. Um... Yeah, see, that's the problem, is when you click on a tower that doesn't, or that has all of its upgrades, you don't have the unlock all upgrades down here at the bottom. Whereas if I click on, say, oh, I'll just use a monkey ace. Actually, I won't use a monkey ace because apparently I have a free one, which doesn't mean anything because I'm using infinite towers. So as you can see, uh, down here in the bottom left, I've got this unlock all upgrades option. So we will get back to that next round. For the time being, let's try and move this super monkey again. No, I screwed up. See, uh, the, the main problem I'm having here is I'm actually not on the tab to open up the super monkey. So, if, it, if you're going to do this, it is definitely best, unless you're lightning fast, to have the tab on the right-hand side here, this uh, your tower tab, open to your whichever tower you're going to stack. So I'm stacking super monkeys, so obviously I want super monkeys on the screen. Just get rid of the super monkey, uh, just because he's now too close to your techno terrors. So again, um, I have a Chinook Winds available. We'll just grab this, bring him up here, place him down, ignore that, place this up here. Yeah, it's, it's getting laggy, that's the problem. Alrighty, so I'll try it one more time, and then if not, I'll just start placing down regular technos probably. Oh, shit. Whoops. Alright, so I'll just quickly end the round, guys, because this is what you're really interested in seeing, I bet, um, is the money glitch. So, first things first, you just click on that all upgrades option. As soon as it comes up, you're going to press down. And that's not what I wanted. And then you... Oh. Oh, did they... Okay, it's possible they patched this out, actually. Which, unless I just screwed up. Uh, do, 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 do. Open up back, Bloons Tower Defense 5. There we go, that seems more like I did it. This is uh, this is supposed to take about a minute or so to load back up. And once it loads back up, you are ready to start getting infinite money. And then I've seen a lot of people do regrow farming is called infinite money, and tower stacking is called 4-4 four, four towers. That's that's wrong. Um, so obviously I already have 277,000, so I'm not limited to selling my, uh, my tax shooter. But, say I had zero dollars, or however many excess dollars I had, um, what you would do is you would sell the tax shooter, and then this gray ring appears around the tax shooter, as you can see, and you can just upgrade it if you'd like to sell him for a little bit more, sell him for 680, and as you can see, I'm selling him uh, to 181,927, 282,607. Uh, 283,287, so obviously it's increasing. And then at this point, once you have this gray circle around your tower, you can actually do it with any tower. So I'm not actually going to do it with Temple Gods, because I don't have anywhere to place a Temple of the Monkey God at the moment, without interfering with my other towers. 
Uh, at least I don't think. Yeah, no, no matter what, it looks like he's gonna take out one of my... Actually, I'll just take out some balloon shippers, why not? So as you can see, every time I'm trying to sell one of these balloon shippers, it's obviously not allowing me to, but it is in fact uh, giving me the money for it. So same thing with the Sun God, you just upgrade them all the way up to Sun God, and then voila. And then you just sell your Sun God. Now look at that, guys. 430, 560. Uh, whoops. That wasn't what I wanted. 690, 820. Hey. A million. Two. Or a million five. A million six. A million eight. Two million. Two one. Two two. Two four. Two five, two seven. There you go, guys. I'm at three million dollars, and you can just keep going for as much as you want. I don't know why you'd ever need more than like five or six million, honestly. Um, my entire setup now, I think, only cost me three million dollars. So this is just super excessive. I'm just showing you this just so you can see that this is in fact infinite. There is no limit at all to how much you can do this. Technically, you could sell every single tower on the screen right now for all that's worth. And then you could just load it back up. The only problem is, is when you click um, either the home button to exit out or go back into the game or the info button right here down beside your towers, it will reset everything. And then obviously your sun god vanishes along with any of its sacrifices. So if you did sell everything, everything that you clicked sell on and were continuously selling will actually, um, sorry, pardon me, <clears throat> uh, will actually just disappear as if you actually did sell it um, the game catches up with itself and will no longer allow you to do that so I am actually now going to okay so I can't do it with Sun God that is the that is the real thing here that's kind of disappointing um, so I'm just going to do more tower stacking now that I've got a ridiculous amount of money pardon me All right, my Chinook Lens is ready. We're just going to drag my Super Monkey down to here. Oh, I screwed up. Drag my Super Monkey down to here. Drag this guy over. There we go. And as you can see, my timing is getting a little bit better. And it's not perfect every time. Like, they're not directly on top of each other. But they are certainly closer than what you could put another Super Monkey. Obviously, I can't put him there. Can't put him there. He's got to be here. So, that's not ideal. But what we've been doing is tower stacking. So, there we go. And guys, this is pretty much like an infinite rounds type of thing. Um, this is the only way on mobile you're ever going to get above round 200. I can promise you that. There simply is not enough space on the screen to, um, pardon me, to continue. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. There's not enough space on the screen to place enough towers down to have enough destructive power to destroy the amount of ZOMGs that drop past round 200. There we go. No, trying to English here. Um, so this is just a bit of free play. You guys obviously don't need to watch this. Um, what I will do is in fact show you that this works in Odyssey and then I will later upload another video showing you that it works on every single track. So you're not limited to Monkey Lane. I know a lot of people use the one glitch where you start up the no escape mission or not the no escape mission moab madness um where you were given fifty thousand dollars they complete the mission and then they sell all their towers right before um and then yeah so sorry they complete the mission they sell all their towers and then you go exit the game through the home button on your screen and you reopen Monkey Lane, and then you have uh, fifty or sixty thousand dollars, depending on if you sold your tower. Sorry for that. Um, so yeah, like a lot of people have been doing it that way, but it's it's just not effective. Like yes, sixty thousand dollars is great on Monkey Lane, but if you're like me, you've beaten most tracks on Impoppable by now, and in that event, you no longer really care about having fifty thousand dollars on Monkey Lane. Um, so this is infinite money, every map, every track. I'll show you the later tracks, the extreme tracks, Tar Pits, Plutonium Lab, and Main Street. 
and I will in, sh in fact show you me beating them with Napsifril because technically Napsifril doesn't include um, glitches. So there you go guys, obviously this is just pure destructive power, nothing is making it past my chippers, which eventually I may actually stack my chippers, I'm not 100% sure about that yet, but you know. And uh, so that's that, let's go and do some Odyssey, just so you guys can actually see the full effect of this, just to show you that I'm not uh, blowing smoke or anything like that jazz, what do we got here for challenges, uh, monkey pirates and engineers. So we'll click up on our Odyssey. I believe I'm in the middle of a hard Odyssey. I've just been lazy trying to do the Wiggly leaderboard. Um, as you can see, I have uh, healthy bananas. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, healthy.